Okay, hi Heinz. Today is 20th. Saturday, yes, the 20th. Rebecca, can you say hi? Hi. All right. Um, I'm trying to get to where I can turn a light on. We've well, got some. Yeah, I can't catch my breath. We uh, have some funky light switches around here. It's in this room. Got to turn some light in that room. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. We have a Walmart grocery pickup haul today. Um, and then we did pop in Dollar General for just a few items. I cannot catch my breath. Oh, honey. All right. Hey, y'all. <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay. Starting with, we're going to go ahead and start with the cold items so I can get it in the freezer. Tomorrow, for those of you that do not know, tomorrow is a national ice cream day. And you know us big girls, we got to celebrate. Okay? I'm trying to climb over a cooler. I made it. But yes, tomorrow is national ice cream day. I'm taking things off the top of my cooler. Yes, my weights to hold the door down from where the boy fell. Anywho, um, on with our grocery haul. <laughs> uh, we got another 40-pack thing of water um, out of our cat food, but out of our pet budget, we got some cat food, and then out of household, we got a mega roll thing soft and strong it's like Charmin soft ultra soft um yeah yeah got the um I think it's uh 18 count yes yeah, 18 count yeah so that was the and I think we had a couple other non-food items but that's in the dining room I just brought this cooler in here because I know the majority of it is ice cream because we're celebrating National Ice Cream Day tomorrow. Yes. Okay, that is refrigerator. That is refrigerator. Of course, with me saying the majority of it is ice cream, everything I pull up is going to be. All right, here's something. Yeah, excuse me for not having it. Yeah. Yeah, it goes. All right, we got a 24 count thing of the Homestyle Waffles. They will fuss and fight over that. It's always this thing of, well, she ate them all. Five people to buy to buy 24 waffles. Um, I'm trying to get to my freezer stuff. And like I said, I'm uncovering all kinds of refrigerator refrigerator stuff hey how y'all doing yeah that's refrigerator i should have done this beforehand but what are you gonna do oh here's something else all right we got cinnamon toast sticks honey they love these things i mean love this is what they'll fight about this is what they'll fight about so I got that as a breakfast option whenever I was cleaning out. Like I said, I cleaned out yesterday. I'm going to put this up top because they need to eat it. It needs to... I'm going to slide that over. They need to eat that before they get to the waffles and the um, cinnamon toast. Because it's been in there for a while. Alright, moving on. Moving on, people. Moving on. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm just trying to get to my frozen stuff. And I see some of my ice cream has been squished. Oh, no. The irony. Ugh. They squished my dreamsicles. Yes, to the ma'am, Hannies. I did not realize they had, I got the 20 count. Big Mama loves her some dreamsicles. I've not had a dreamsicle and I could not tell you when. 
I did get a big thing of crinkle cut french fries. So those of you that know Brian, I can buy fries till the cows come home. He gonna eat up all my fries. I had no french fries in this house. None. I mean, none. And I bought some last week. Didn't have them this week, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I got those. It was a big 80 ounce thing of the crinkle cut. And I got some waffle cut. Love waffle fries. Um, probably wound up doing that one night. Uh, one day for lunch if we do chick chicken nuggets. We'll have like a Chick-fil-A lunch. We're going to do chicken nuggets and waffle fries. Ice cream wise, we got cookies and cream. And the orange string sickles. And those are my creamers. I, I gotten the Walmart brand of yeah, I got the Walmart brand of cookies and cream and they had. And then I got the Great Value brand of chocolate. Well, they did not have it. So they substituted with Briars. For those of you that do not know or are not familiar with Walmart pickup, if they have to substitute, they upgrade you. We got upgraded to name brand mom. Alright, uh, one night this week we are using up the rest of that teriyaki chicken and the mesquite chicken. I've got a little bit in each bag. My butt's hitting the temperature control. <laughs> I've got a little bit in each bag, so we're going to use it up. I decided that, like I said, I'm cleaning out this freezer. I had one little bag of stir-fry vegetable mix. I knew that that one little bag is not going to do all of this. So I ordered one more little bag of stir fry vegetable mix. The white bag actually came in a five count thing from Sam's. Um, that's usually how I buy it. Um, let's see, I think the rest of this stuff is, yeah, yeah, the rest of this stuff goes to the refrigerator. So we're going to close up the freezer. So that was our ice cream for National Ice Cream Day. And I'll show you some other treats that I got. Because us buying ice cream, that's not big of a deal. We buy ice cream every grocery order we ever do. Whether it be going to Walmart pickup or going to Aldi's. This last time we had gone to Aldi's. And we got the cookies and cream from there. Um, so, yeah. So, here in a minute, I'm going to get into the kitchen and I'll show you what we got cold wise for the refrigerator. Okay, for our cold stuff for the refrigerator, and I tried to clean it out before I went, and I'm seeing some things that. I should have cleaned out and I didn't. Oh, that cold slaw we got from all of y'all. Oh, that stuff was good. Um, I meant to take this pasta salad and get out of here. And I just took the stuff out of the cooler and now I'm out of breath again. So, there you go. Anywho, we got two gallons of milk, which has been the standard here lately. I don't know what it is. Um, but we're going through two gallons of milk a week. Used to, one gallon would do us, but now it's two. So I've got two gallons of milk. Um, meat-wise, I got a ham and salami sub kit, and you'll see why whenever I do the menu plan. We got another applewood smoked bacon, and then the uncured beef frank hot dogs. These are the bomb. Thank you, Fallon, from Moss TV for the tip. Girl, Brian is not one for hot dogs. He cannot stand hot dogs. He loves these. They are. You can really taste a difference. So, um, and we, I decided to get the salami kit just for something different. Um, also, got eggs. 
not near as good of a deal as my Aldi um, last week eggs were 58 cents a dozen so I'm not gonna complain though the convenience um, I did get chocolate caramel coffee creamer and then I the salted caramel mocha yes to the ma'am hannies oh um, one substitution they had was I had gotten just the plain great value vanilla yogurt they did not have it so they gave me the Greek which is wonderful because I love Greek yogurt it's just it was more expensive I did get a thing of the blueberries they were still a little on the high side it was four dollars for this container which as big as the container is and look how plump and good they are yes ma'am they are they look so good so I don't mind spending a little bit of extra I did get two of the classic iceberg lettuce of the salads um, I find if I go ahead and get the small bags and they're good till the 31st they don't go near as bad as if I do just a huge bag and try to make it last for two meals you'll see why I did that in the menu plan here in a minute I did get three hearts of romaine cheese wise I got the mild cheddar always always need mild cheddar um, the provolone everybody loves provolone sliced and then I got a big bag um, yeah the two pound bag of the mozzarella shredded cheese so that is my cold stuff I'm gonna get this put away in the refrigerator and then I will show you the pantry items yeah sorry if this is just divided up this way it's just it is funny six degrees outside so that's why big mama's having to do and bless carol best heart she didn't get to go swimming yesterday because we had an afternoon thunderstorm i told her this morning i said tell you what do you want to stay home and swim or do you want to go with mama and she wouldn't go with me and i'm like okay we'll get back we'll eat us a little sandwich and then you can go swimming on the way home, what did he do? It started raining. I looked at the whole week's forecast. We are scheduled for rain every day, gum day. <laughs> Y'all pray it quits. I, I told her she can go swimming if it's overcast. As long as we don't hear no thunder, and we've got a weather radar app on our my phone, um, and it's got the lightning app thing, so. As long as that don't go off, that baby girl can get in that pool. All right, so let me get this cold stuff put up, and then we'll move on to the pantry. Okay, just real quick before I get back to the Walmart haul, I got a little pet peeve. I was putting our cold stuff away. You know, the cheese, the hot dogs, the lunch meat. I find this bag of cheese in the refrigerator this empty bag of <laughs> I kid you not there is maybe okay excuse me it's not empty it has that much yeah that right there that much cheese in a two pound bag now let's get into perspective the refrigerator is here all right refrigerator here the garbage can is there let's walk this shall we one two three three steps and i'm here this there three steps yeah anywho back to the wall <laughs> somebody's gonna be the strange smell in my attic i'm just saying <laughs> okay back to the walmart haul i just I, they're all over the age 20 and i can go ahead and tell you baby girl did not do it mm -mm. not carol beth it was either the boy or the girl one of them two 
All right, back on to the haul. National Cup tea bags, always, always. Everybody usually asks, how do we make iced tea, or what kind of tea bags do we use? We did actually do a vlog on this one day. Brian showed you how. So, National Cup tea bags. Yes, ma'am. Um, one thing we have been missing, they do not have it all the, they used to, when we went to the one in Alabaster, we used to find the Melville brand of cream of wheat. So, when I was placing my Walmart order and I was doing breakfast ideas, I thought, you know what, let's shake things up and do some cream of wheat. Um, yes, this has been wrapped open, not by savages, not by animals, by me. Um, I got a variety pack of the fruit and grain cereal bars. You get one of the strawberry, uh, oh, 16 strawberry bars, 8 apple cinnamon bars, and 8 mixed berry bars. So, me and Kerbeth had that on the way home. Um, produce wise, let's go down here. We'll do the healthy food stuff. Prove to y'all that we did have some healthy food in the house. Two cantaloupe. And I was trying to do five pounds of bananas. They gave me five bananas. <laughs> yeah, well, no, six bananas, excuse me. Yeah, six bananas. Yeah, one torn off. I don't know. Um, the tomatoes on the vine. I needed some more maters. We hadn't seen Mr. Conway lately, so. I did get Carol Beth some of the strawberry kiwi Capri Suns. Um, if we go like on Mondays to art or whatnot, or if we're just going to be out and about, she likes Capri Sun, I will freeze them, stick them in the cooler, and by the time we get to where we're going, they've done thawed out. Trust me, they've done thawed out. Um, I got in the smaller bag of Chips Ahoy. They didn't have them, so they substituted with the family size. Yay! I love that all these Girl Scout mint cookies. So I decided I would try the Walmart brand. They were only like 90 something cents, 98 cents. They were the same price as the Aldi ones. Let's put it that way. A lot cheaper than a Girl Scout. Sorry if you have a Girl Scout. I'm just saying. Um, hot dog chili because we are going to do that. Um, I needed some more pistachios. I like the lightly salted shelled. I cannot shell them, so I buy them already shelled. Um, I did get two packs of the vanilla yogurt raisins, y'all. If you've never tried these, oh, they are so good. It is, it's like a good sweet treat, but it's a healthy sweet treat. Um, like seriously, I'm looking to see. Well, it's got 19 grams of sugar. Why did that? Oh, it's got 31 milligrams of calcium. Yeah. High energy snack. Gluten free. Anywho. Yeah. Um, Mrs. Butterworth syrup. We were out. Um, I did get huggy rolls. To go with that sub meat and some of that cheese and some of that lettuce and some of these tomatoes, we are going to do subs. Yes, subs. Sub Sunday. Um, frosted animal cookies. They, Brian actually requested these. They love these things. Wanted to know if they'd quit making them because I'd quit buying them. And I'm like, no, they still make them. I just didn't know y'all wanted them. So there you go. I got two bags of the ripple chips and two bags of the barbecue to go with the subs and then to go with when we do hamburgers and hot dogs um non-food items we were out of Nesborn so I went ahead and got a two pack the Equate brand um and then me and Carol Beth needed some razors so I got the women's it's like the Venus but it's the Walmart brand. Honey, these are wonderful. I have to shave Carol Beth. And so, trust me, these are amazing. I've never, knock on wood, bless her heart, I've never cut her with these. So, anywho, ice cream day tomorrow. 
to go with our ice cream, I decided I was going to kind of spruce it up a little bit because we are doing subs. Sub Sunday. Um, we're going to do the waffle bowl cones. It's the actual bowl that you put your ice cream in. Well, I put it like on a little plate. Oh, look at the little hippo. She's cute. Um, I got maraschino cherries, which I never buy. And then I bought chocolate syrup and caramel syrup. <gasps> Yum. How good is that going to be? So I'm envisioning the bananas with the ice cream in a waffle bowl with some cherries. You know what I forgot? Whipped cream. Holy behannies. Whipped cream. Well, we don't need whipped cream, do we? The Dollar General is right down the street. They got whipped cream. <laughs> After church, we might be procuring some whipped cream. I'm just saying. <sighs> I think it's it's raining outside, so baby girl can't go swimming. Yeah, not right now. But yeah. Seriously, if you haven't ever tried these, and I cannot find them in the store. I don't know. I know they've got stuff like the nuts and everything using the produce. And I know some stuff kind of like this, like the tropical fruit mix and the trail mix and stuff, they will have around the produce all, but I've never seen these. So I don't know where they would be in store. I just, uh, whenever I place a Walmart pickup order, if I think about it, I'll get some. Now, Welch's has the yogurt covered like blueberries. You only get like a little packet. And I think you only get like four of them. And it's $2. This, you get a whole, it's seven ounces. And it was like a dollar ninety-eight. Yeah, so it, to me, this is just a better value um, rather than the Welch's. The only the only drawback to these these are not individually like in little snack bags. So before you know it, you could eat the whole bag. <laughs> <laughs> at least with the little pouches that's why sometimes I don't mind buying the individually wrapped pouches because it adheres you to that serving size you know does that make sense so sometimes it's better to get yeah but I didn't I didn't. I figured I was getting way more bang for my buck doing it that way. And then I can kind of portion control her with some little zip snack bags. All right, now to my uh, menu plan. What did I do in my purse? Holy sweet hennies. Hey, y'all. How you doing? It's good to see you. I don't know what it, oh, I see it. Stars and garters. I, my Dollar General, um, I had to get some mailers. I've got something. I got a mail to somebody. Hey, hon, how you doing, girl? Um, they've got their school supply out, supplies out. So Carol Beth was tickled as a peach that we popped in. She had her allowance, so she got her a little tray. I'm going to show y'all. I got me one that was only a dollar. Um, I got the big color collection intensity, but they're ultra, ultra fine. They are a point four. Yeah, I'm going to try it, my planner. I found the thinner the pen, if I can get the 0 0.5. The ultra ultra fine, but it is hard as the dickens to find them. Anywho, uh, yeah, this was only a little dollar. She got a purple one, I got a blue one. It is tiered and it's just the little compartments, and you can sit it on your desk to hold like pens or markers or little post its or labels or whatever so 
I thought that was cute. And for a dollar, yeah, I'm in. Um, I got some candy for church. Always need candy. Um, I try to get Smarties or something like that. And then this is a secret for somebody that I'm mailing something to I can't show. And I think that's what this is. Yeah, that's a secret for somebody that I cannot show. Yeah, I'll just give you a little quick sneak peek. <laughs> there was your sneak peek. How about that? Oh, menu plan. That's what we're doing. Sweet. Hannies to heaven. Oh, and I did have to pick up my medicine. Got that. Praise you, Lord. And I took it before I left the drugstore. Amen. Hallelujah. Menu plan, y'all. Menu plan. I've already been in three rooms. <laughs> with y'all. Bless your heart, y'all ought to be tired. Go sit down somewhere. <laughs> ah, menu. I'm getting to it. Here's my prayer list. Oh, I've been adding to my prayer list, y'all. So seriously. Um Christy, got you girl. Got you. Bo Sutton, Misty and Gracie, Dawn, um, Alicia, Belinda. Yes, got y'all on there, girls. Um, so if you want to be added, comment down below. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. Comment down below and I'll get you on the list. Um, menu for this week. Yeah, it's almost kind of like a repeat from last week because some things we just didn't get to. So, um, I guess I can put it back. And yes, I just kind of went roughly by that, but, all right, so I figured for today, uh, tonight he can do the burgers and dogs and corn on the cob on the grill and then leftover coleslaw um, and leftover pasta salad. There's not much of the pasta salad left. And then I figured we could do um, chips. Tomorrow we're going to do those subs, or today we might even do a sub sandwich. I don't know for lunch. Um, Monday I need a crock pot or a cool meal. When I was cleaning out the freezers, I came across some leftover pot roast that was put in a Rubbermaid container. I am going to take it and put it in a small crock pot, put it on low, let it kind of thaw and do its thing. I've got some instant mashed potatoes and a can of green beans, and I'll probably do one of the bags of salad with that. Wednesday, we're going to do that kielbasa that I found in the freezer with ketchup and brown sugar. I'm going to do that recipe. I will vlog that. It's a Miss Betty recipe. Yes, ma'am. Can't go wrong with the Miss Betty recipe. I'm also going to do the mixed veggie casserole. Again, a Miss Betty recipe. I found my breaded okra. Yay! So we're going to do that Wednesday. Up uh, Tuesday. Excuse me. Ugh, Tuesday. I am off because my calendar is a Monday start. So that's why if I see that third, I think it's Wednesday. But it's Tuesday. Wednesday, yeah. We're going to do that left all that leftover chicken. I've got a little bit of the mixed teriyaki and I've got a little bit of the mesquite chicken. That's what I wrapped to put that note around. So we're going to do that with rice and then those stir fry vegetables. Um, Thursday we are going to have the hamburger helper and a salad. Friday we all usually try to have some form of fish. Um, I'll have to go to the store and get some fresh fish. And then those fries, I got fries we're going to do there. And then Saturday and Sunday we're going to do grilled chicken kebabs. So when I go to the store, I know to go ahead and get like zucchinis and mushrooms. And I've got some onion that needs to be used, but peppers. Anything that I could use to do the kebabs. So, yeah, that's the reason why I went ahead and wrote that down. And then I'll do up my other menu when I get to it. So, but yeah, 
That is the menu plan so far. Yeah, that's the plan anyway. Yeah, we'll see if we adhere to, <laughs> adhere to it or not. <laughs> so, but that is my Walmart grocery order. For those of you that are new here, hey, hon. My name is Stacy, or Big Mama. We are a family of five grown adults. Um, yeah, I should say we are a family of five that are over 20. Um, because some of them don't act like adults, you know what I'm saying? Anywho, <laughs> I try to allot our grocery budget to 120 a week. Yeah, 120 a week. It works out to a hundred dollars per person per month, and then we allot 50 a month for pet, any pet items. So this week's total was 142. Yeah, 142. Um, but tw almost 20 of that. It was 18 something without tax was the cat food. So, um, I think that's what it was. I'll have to get my phone and look and see. But yeah, it was the cat food. Um, and then Carol Beth gets her $20 allowance and then I get um, $20 a payday just to kind of spend. I spent $16 at um, Dollar General. So I got four left of my running money. So yeah, yeah. Um, I did go over just a little bit. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to see if I went over just a little bit or not. I don't think I did, because with the cat food being taken out. Yeah, here's my receipt. I got 48 items, which is not bad at all. Um, hey y'all! How you doing? I'm trying to see. It blew. It made it get like really huge. I don't want a really huge view. Thank you. Okay, and then the toilet paper too. It was twelve ninety seven. Yeah. The razor blades were five. Um I'm trying to get to the stupid cat food. Okay, special kitty complete nutrition formula dry cat food, a 16 pound bag. It was only 874. It was only 874. So, I did overspend some. Right, right, Reggie. Uh -oh. So that will have to be a straightened out come next week. I won't have my full allotment to spend. We'll have to cut back better cook. All right, well, that's going to do it for this week's grocery haul and menu plan. Put on your pearls, put on your smile, try not to overspend, and do your Walmart pickup order. If you haven't tried it, give her a whirl, girl, because yes, ma'am, it was wonderful. Um, my legs are so tired, I couldn't have held out walking through the store anyway. Um, yeah, they are awful. Um, I've been having cramps 
in my legs that are just I, I wake up during the night crying it hurts so bad so anywho we aren't gonna be sad or have that discussion on this channel so put on those smiles put on your pearls straighten your buns and I will see y'all next time.